know where to start. There are so many different things in here. Hey guys, welcome to the Japan Ghost channel. My name is Chika. Today I am going to show you what traditional Japanese New Year's food is all about by taking you behind the scenes and the making of osechi. Another New Year's video? I know it's already mid-January, but you guys gotta understand, New Year's is a big deal in Japan. There are so many traditions and customs going on throughout the country that a few videos is not nearly enough to explain it all. Anyway, the word osechi comes from sekku ryori, a traditional cuisine to celebrate the changing season. Technically, there are five sekkus throughout the year, but because New Year's is the biggest celebration, only New Year's food is now referred to as osechi. A very good friend of mine owns a restaurant in Nihonbashi that specializes in conger eel, anago. For New Year's, they offer osechi for their customers. I've been eating their osechi for New Year's for the last three years, but I've never seen them make it, so I'm very excited to go see what it's all about. I have to get my cap on and my mask on, and I've got my whole uniform. Let's go. Before I start showing you the fabulous osechi dishes, I want to take this opportunity to talk to you guys about a word we have in Japan called engi. It's a concept from Buddhist teachings that basically say all things depend on various causes or conditions. But let me put it in context for you and show you guys how we use it in daily conversation. You'll often hear people explain something as engi ga i. I means good, so engi ga i means lucky, or a cause or condition that results in good luck. You'll also hear things being described as engi ga warui. Warui means bad, so engi ga warui means unlucky. For example, the sunrise and the mochi that I showed you guys in my previous videos are engi ga i, thus being celebratory symbols for welcoming the new year. Engi plays a big role in osechi as well, with each dish symbolizing good luck for something. Alright, let's take a look. Takenoko or bamboo symbolizes growth. Let our kids grow nice and strong! Kobumaki wishes for happiness. Yorokobu means to be happy, so that's where it comes from. Kazunoko or herring row symbolizes fertility. Let us make lots of healthy babies. Tazukuri or dry Japanese anchovies symbolizes a good harvest. Let us not go hungry. Kurikinton or mashed chestnuts symbolizes wealth. Let us be rich. Nenkon or lotus root with its big holes symbolizes the ability to see ahead and make good decisions. All of these dishes are placed neatly in beautiful tiered lacquer boxes like this one. There are usually three to five tiers and there are rules as to what dish goes into which tier. For example, in a four-tiered osechi, the top tier would consist of the hors d'oeuvres, the second tier would have the grilled dishes, the third one the simmered dishes, and the fourth one would have the vinegar dishes. So back in the day, it was said that for the first few days of New Year's, the Toshigami or New Year's God comes to visit and during his stay, you were to refrain from cooking. Therefore, all osechi dishes were simmered or marinated, cooked in ways that made them last. Obviously, traditions evolve over time though and things have become quite modernized. First of all, a lot of people buy osechi rather than making them at home these days. You can buy them at department stores or restaurants like I did. You can even get them at the convenience store. How convenient! The osechi that I got from Tamai was three-tiered. You saw the hors d'oeuvres being made for the first tier. The second tier actually had sashimi in it. Sea urchin, you'll see the amayabi, the sweet shrimp on the side. Nowadays, with the whole modernization, you'll often find fresh fish, raw fish, or any other thing that may go bad within that first day. The last layer of tamai sosechi had their signature anago chirashi, which I absolutely love. I went to go pick up the completed osechi and I took it back to my grandma's house. I am at the Tokyo station. The station is pretty busy. A lot of people going home, I'm assuming, to spend 
the new year with their family. Okay, let's go. Hi. Yay, I made it to my grandma's house. And we're going to open the osechi. Wow, get in that. It's so colorful, so vivid. The osechi was just awesome. I feel so spoiled. <laughs> Here is my plate of osechi food that I am going to devour. Through this osechi experience, I myself learned just how particular Japanese traditional cuisine is and all the meaning and symbolism behind all of it. It just gets so interesting the more you know about it. Thank you guys for watching and also a special big thank you to everyone at Tamai. They were up that whole night. I don't think they slept until the afternoon of the first. Nihonbashi Tamai no mina san, kotoshi mai jo tappuri na osechi, doumo arigatou gozaimasu. あと何個ですかあと200個。はい。これだけ作ってお客さんに美味しいって言われると達成感があります。本当にお疲れ様でした。来年もよろしくお願いいたします。楽しみにしてます。Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you guys again soon. Matane. All right, I'm going to announce the Fuji giveaway winners. Yeah! Uh, there are 10 of you. Uh, five of you get the microblocks, five of you get the Fuji post-it. I'm not gonna tell you which one you get. You'll find out when you get it in the mail. All right, first winner, Tununiasu. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but I love that you wrote your comment in Japanese and I like hearing where you guys are all from, so thanks for that Brazil bit. Congratulations. Nathan Garza, I know that you comment on my other channel and you've been doing that for quite some time So I just wanted to let you know that I read all of them and I appreciate your support Top Dan, I appreciate that you appreciate my multitasking Longtail Truth 01, who doesn't love being showered with compliments? Thank you, I'm very flattered Lola Carvajal, I hope you get to go to Fujisan someday And thank you for the Japanese message at the end Neo Photography I liked award first comments and the fact that there are two of you watching all the way from England. Colin and Teresa, thank you very much and congratulations. Nadi Otaku, I like your username. It is definitely easy to get caught up in the stresses and drama of everyday life. I'm so happy to hear that my video was able to remind you of what we should be focusing on in life. Pan Jacqueline, thanks for mentioning my horse's name, Diamond. I love the attention to detail. Pelling in four, thank you very much for your considerate message. It was really cold, it was really late, and at one point I was like, why am I doing this? But after seeing Mount Fuji and after seeing all of your comments that you guys enjoyed it, it's it was so worth it. So those are the 10 winners of my Fuji giveaway. Congratulations. Omedetou gozaimasu. You can be more casual and say omedetou, which basically means like congrats. Omedetou everyone. Please message me through YouTube your name, your address phone number is optional so I can send you these cool gifts and make sure you don't email me but message me through YouTube so I can confirm your username for those of you that didn't win I'm sorry I read through all the comments and I love them all and I wish I could give all of you gifts but I will be having lots more giveaways coming up so you'll have many other chances to win all right guys I will see you guys again soon Matane. bye bye